Based on the historical operations at Hunter's Point, radiological remediation, or cleanup, is required prior to transfer of the former shipyard to the city of San Francisco. The Navy's first priority throughout this process is public health and safety. This video will explain how the Navy is conducting this cleanup while ensuring continued public safety. Radiation is all around us, but what exactly is it? Radiation is energy that moves from one place to another in the form of waves or particles. Light and heat are examples of natural radiation that can be seen and felt. Other types of radiation result from medical x-rays or microwaves for cooking. Everyone is exposed to radiation on a daily basis from both naturally occurring and man-made sources. Natural radiation occurs in soil and rock. For instance, granite has higher levels of radiation than many other types of rock. Other radiation exposures that we might encounter in our daily lives could include dental x-rays, airplane flights, and even the types of food we eat. We're exposed to these small amounts of background radiation from all around us, with an average annual dose of up to 620 millirem each year. In addition to the radiation we receive from natural sources, Standards established by our regulatory partners allow for safe exposure levels of up to 100 millirem per year for the general public and 5,000 millirem per year for those qualified to work with and around radioactive material. These average levels can vary based on factors like location and amount of medical exposure. Where you live can have a significant impact on the amount of radiation you're exposed to. Some of this is related to elevation and atmosphere, some of it to soil composition. For example, the exposure at higher elevations in Denver, Colorado can be close to 50 millirem per year compared to 26 millirem per year at sea level in San Francisco. What radiological elements are present at Hunter's Point as a result of historic Navy operations? Three types of radiological elements have been identified in specific areas of Hunter's Point. Radium, strontium, and cesium. Other radiological elements are tested for, but have not been identified above naturally occurring levels found in the San Francisco Bay Area. Radium is present at Hunter's Point. It was used in radioluminescent deck markers and other devices on ships. Strontium and cesium are related to the decontamination of ships used in weapons tests. Strontium was also used in some radioluminescent personnel locators. How are safe exposure levels of these elements determined? One of the most respected is the ResRad family of codes. Developed at Argonne National Laboratory to analyze potential exposures from environmental contamination, ResRad guidelines are widely used by regulatory agencies such as the U.S. Department of Energy, the risk assessment community, and universities in more than 100 countries around the world. To date, Hunter's Point soil sites have been measured and determined to contribute about 5 millirem per year or less to the total exposure a person receives during the year. This is similar to the amount of radiation a person would receive in a single flight from San Diego, California to New York, New York, and is well within established safety standards. For example, a deck marker discovered on the hillside adjacent to the shipyard front gate, parcel A, would have exposed a member of the general public to only about 1% of the dose they would receive from natural background radiation in the same spot and only if that person was standing directly above that spot for several months. These doses are all considered to be safe, as defined by our regulatory partners, and over time, these radiological sources will naturally decay, lessening impact even further. We are committed to following the very conservative safety standards set by our regulatory partners at Hunter's Point. While testing and sampling is being conducted, exclusion zones with fencing are set up around work areas to prevent public access to construction hazards and to allow workers sufficient space to complete their work safely. Dust control and other monitoring measures also help to ensure safety. Navy contractors are required to submit work plans and data reports for regulatory review and approval. Radiological monitoring is performed whenever working in an area where concerns may exist. Low-level radiological waste is placed in specialized bins before being transported off-site. Trucks entering and leaving Hunter's Point must pass through a detector, or portal monitor, which screens for radiation. The risk posed by radiological contamination at Hunter's Point is low. 
The safety standards in place help ensure the health of workers and nearby residents. The Navy stands behind the science of the cleanup work at Hunters Point and is committed to the health and safety of the community.